Legal Hustle Clothing is a clothing company established in Calgary. Uh, to put things into short, we're a company that embraces the inner hustler uh, and the everyday hustle. My name is Albert Mejia and I am the CEO of Legal Hustle Clothing. My name is Jeremy Alphon and I'm from Legal Hustle Clothing. You want to change the negative connotation of the word hustle to a positive one to show that um, it doesn't always mean um, just you know hustling to get money, uh, selling stuff, all that. We just want them to like work hard uh, to get what you want in life. Uh, Legal Hustle started back in 2011. At the time, me and him were both. I don't know how to say, I guess we were both struggling. Uh, Jeremy was in school at the time and he was working. Uh, I was working probably four to five jobs and someone kind of just gave me like a name that I was a legal hustler. We were clubbing and then uh, I was like, yo Albert, kind of like, I need a job right now. Or like, just talking about like school life and all that after like we were in the club, it was weird. So, but anyways, um, uh, yeah, so we're, we're talking about like life and um, Albert's like, yo, well, I have this idea about like legal hustle. I'm like, what's legal hustle? And he said, it's a clothing brand I was trying to plan out when I was in high school. I just wanna, I wanna start it off now because I'm older, like, and then I saw what you can do with designs and stuff. So that's how it started. And uh, brainstorming went off from there. Uh, I've always been into fashion. I've been into collecting sneakers. Uh, I've been big into streetwear brands since I was young. I've always had this idea in high school of always starting my own clothing company because I always grew up wearing other people's brands and I always thought to myself, hey, why not? Why can't I just do this myself? So uh, I'd probably say since 2006, I was in grade 10. And then I started reading more on how a lot of brands started, like Crooks and Castles. Legal House of Clothing gave me this passion of designing and it um, made me want to go to school for it and learn uh, more about it. And from now, um, everything just comes easy. I have so much knowledge about it. Um, so in the beginning, it's always hard. It's still hard because like, you know, it's uh, financially hurt, so. What makes us different from other brands in my opinion, I would say that Jeremy probably has one of the craziest designs. We each have our own ideas. Albert tells me his ideas. I, I usually expand on that, um, see what I can come with. And then from there, it uh, becomes a new thing, like a new product. Like we haven't thought about it. Just It's more, it's really spontaneous how we think of our stuff. The, uh, the creativity, I just want people to see like what I'm thinking. I want to see like, how they interpret my message. Um, it's nice to see like people uh, wearing your own designs and people recognizing you for your designs. Besides the design work, we like to touch base a lot on cultures. So uh, the dance culture, the hip hop culture, like I said, the sneaker culture, the music culture, we like to touch base on a lot of things and not just like put out a random shirt. You know what I mean? Like we don't, we don't just put stick figures on a shirt and sell it for $30. We kind of like, we like to put a lot of thought. We accomplished a lot in the past like a uh, year and a half, almost two years now. Um, first year, you know, it was hard because we're still planning like our niche. We, we want to know like um, how we're going to represent Legal Hustle throughout the community. We started off with a company that only did 10 t-shirts because we didn't have money. And now we're, we're doing like shirts out of like 100, 200. It's a process, but it was a slow process in the beginning. And now it's just, once you get one snowball rolling, then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then other snowballs start falling with you. Well, so far we had a couple um, fashion shows. Um, some famous people like Just Me were backup dancers. So something like, we're good at networking. We like to network, so a big accomplishment is networking to like higher ups, um, trying to work something out so we can get more noticed. At the time I was working full time and Jeremy was just working part time because of school. So I had a lot of the funds, but at the same time, like it's hard to do it on your own. So we had to split it 
between the both of us. But when I got into school, or when I went back into school, I started working part time. So that's when the troubles came, just because obviously you're not. I'm not making a lot of money anymore. But financials was probably one of them. As much as all the designs that Jeremy can make, we can't always print all of them because of finances. Other than that, it's more like、uh, getting stuff done on time because、uh, we have like it, we are trying to balance everything out as well. School, schoolwork gets in the way, exams, and just like you want to have fun, you want to have personal time because you don't owning a company, you don't want to turn that company into like just your job. You don't want to make it. Just something that you do to make money, because you want to love what you do.、Oh, we want to be、uh, more well known locally first, so we want that exclusive to Calgary. So we want to have legal house of clothing in Calgary, and then we want to expand to like the rest of Canada.、Um, hopefully, in the U.S., get that that street urban wear, get in that street urban wear culture.、Uh, we just want to expand,、um, go to a bunch of trade shows,、uh, show like upper companies think of、uh, our ideas, our message. Uh, see if they like us, and see if we can grow from that. I try to balance everything. I try to schedule everything out. If I could have the decision not to sleep, I would, just because without sleep, I can get more work done. We just try and keep consistent with our work, our quality in work.、Um, we don't want quantity. We want to have quality in our designs. I love to dance. Like dance is one of my biggest passions in life. Gets my creative juices flowing. It's just、uh, your creativity, like for you when you freestyle dance.、Um, freestyle dance is really spontaneous, and、uh, that's how I usually, you know, make make my designs is spontaneous. But there's also that planning stage, like for example, choreography.、Uh, you got to plan something to, you know, make it efficient, make it effective. And when I have something in my head,、uh, sometimes I write it down or just do it right away, so I have at least like. Uh, blueprint of what I can expand on in the future when I go back to it and work on my designs. Right now, I'm dancing for a group called Impact.、Uh, I do crump, I do choreography, I freestyle, I battle. Besides putting art on on a shirt, to me, dance is the most physical art form you can have.、Uh, it's like another language to me. Honestly, I always looked at dancers and they had the weirdest styles. Like you'd wear sweatpants with Vans and like a button-up shirt and some random stuff. So I kind of like I like the fashion of it. So I kind of try to make my clothing revolve around some of that fashion. But at the same time, like for the everyday person, I also wanted to revolve around that. So like again, since we're part of like a dance community, we have a lot of support. Everyone supports us and what we love to do. We have family and friends.、Um, From there, we've been networking a lot.、Um, people see like how hard we work.、Um, you can say like we're not, we're not rude or anything. And then from that, like we start meeting more people, and then they start supporting us, and then they told their friends, and they start supporting us. So it's it's growing every day, or every I would say growing every day.、Um, but it's still something that you have to work towards because you don't want to. You don't want people to support something that's not worth supporting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, when we first met each other, we're just like we clicked right away. We just、um, pretty much that's why we call each other brothers because we're pretty much the same like person. Like we have like the same ideas,、uh, we have the same interests. Working with Jeremy,、uh, like he said in his interview, it's like working with a brother. Uh, even though we do, like, I don't want to say we struggle all the time or we get into arguments, but、uh, even though we get into like disagreements, we still find a way to work around to what we both like. And at the same time, like, if you call someone your brother, you can't. I don't know how to say it. You can't just hold a grudge against them because at the end of the day, it's just a business. It's it's just so easy to work with someone that、um, that knows you that.、Uh... You know that you can relate to easily. We usually get our work done. We we do as much as we can, or we we just talk about plans, ideas, what we want for the future, and then we just kind of hang out and play video games.
you're focused just on money and not on the quality you're not focused on your work you're not focused on um who your who your demographic is or who you're trying to sell to you can have all the money in the world but your your product could still be crap we, we want to stay humble um let other people know that you know we want to hustle to make our dreams come true so uh people like that about us i think <laughs> and uh i think we have a lot of support we just gotta keep doing what we're doing <laughs>